Hello guys, welcome to Statistics Bio 7. The channel fully focused on the Bio Statistics Data Analysis and Data Visualization related video post on this channel. If you like this channel video, click the subscription button and support to me, join to our channel membership. Let's go to the video. Now, we have the discussion for the topic Confirmatory Factor Analysis CFA is a statistical technique used to do test whether a hypothesized factor structures fits a set of observed data. It is part of the structural equation modeling family and is commonly used when you already have a theory or prior evidence suggesting how observed variables should good group together under latent observed factors. In CFA, the latent variables factors are not directly observed but inferred from measured observed variables. You specify which observed variables are linked to which factor under the analysis test, how well the structure fit your data. The confirmatory factor analysis CFA, how to analyze and confirmatory graph R -Studio, on the RStudio software. The totally three important packages were installed in confirmatory factor analysis in RStudio. The first one important packages for the Laven packages and the next one in packages for the Semplat, third one for the Coreplat. The uh, three packages already I installed so the directly active for the library packages so the first one library active for the 11 packages 11 so the next one the packages add to the simplat so the third one packages add for the core plat The 11 packages for the analyzed in confirmatory factor analysis the data. The next one for the same under the core plot also data visualization. So the next for the data options. So this is for the confirmatory factor analysis the data set the plant trust the totally the 6 variable and 30 observes variable so the total 30 plans so the data imported to the R studio selected the whole the data and copy paste to the console section so enter the next one commanded for the CFA models the two latent factors so enter the command model less than hyphen enter so the next one command for the standard is the all variables so the total the six variable the standard is for the all the variable so enter the command okay the next one for the fit of the cfa models so the next one for the summary of the fit model in confirmatory factor analysis so this is for the confirmatory factor analysis of the data output then the model test for the users the test statistics value 12.134 and degrees of freedom 8 the p value for the high square value 0 0.145 and the model test for the baseline model the test statistics 485.684 and the degrees of freedom 15 and the p-value 0, 0.0 the measure used baseline models and the root mean square error of approximate session and the parameter estimations the latent variable for the estimated standard error z value the p-value the standard value and the covariance value for the plant stress and the biological stress then variation for the six 
in our data the estimated the standard error z value also the present in the values in r studio software so the next for the draw a graph in confirmatory factor analysis totally the two graphs were the available in the suitable for the confirmatory factor analysis one for the path diagram another one for the correlation heat map the path diagram the comments and the detail i will upload for the our blacker page that link mentioned to the this video description box if you want the path diagram please visit to our blacker page and get the command draw a path diagram now the draw for the correlation heat map method so the correlation heat map can enter the command next for the correlation analysis in the our the data so the print okay this is for the six variables in the chlorophyll content and the stomal consistency the leaf area then uh, this is for the correl correlation matrix value then now draw a correlation heat map so enter the command for the core plot okay okay this is for the correlation matrix heat map so the blue color is a positive value and the white is a neutral value and less is a negative correlation value so this is for the graph of the correlation matrix then uh, the interpretation interpretation of the co confirmatory factor analysis the data and the correlation heat map then i will upload for the another one video that video link mentioned to the this video description box if you any doubt on this video leave me the comments in the comment box i will reply to you and uh, if you like this video click the subscription button and support me join to our channel membership Thank you for watching this video.